Tonight, an I-Team investigation on a dog kennel with a history of violations. The state's known about the problems for years and is now taking action. Cheryl Fiendaka takes us inside the kennel and shows us the conditions the puppies lived in. Puppies stacked three high in metal cages that are too small. Some without water, and the temperature on this day was 86 degrees. Yes, it's all been corrected in the meantime. And uh, the 86 is probably not too high. State inspectors find Robert Fink, the owner of Laughlin Kennel, $8,000 for those violations and others. If you think it's humane, you, you just told us that you think it's humane, why not show us on, on camera? I'm not showing out you on camera because what you, <laughs> because the, I explained to you, the images can be misused. I'm happy to just show the pictures and let everyone at home and make I'm their not. own judgment. And I'm not. Fink wouldn't let our cameras in the basement, but he agreed to show me where the dogs are kept. I saw conditions similar to the photos the I team obtained from recent state inspections. Laughlin had about 100 caged puppies in small rooms. Some of the cages were dirty and all had no bedding. A worker was cleaning one of the rooms where a note on the door read, washed October 9th. We were there on November 1st. The basement also had two sick rooms. 30 dogs, that's like a third of the dogs that you say that you have available for sale are sick. Uh, approximately right now, sometimes it's less. Fink says he doesn't sell the sick dogs, but the I-team uncovered dozens of complaints made to the Department of Agricultural Resources that appear to show otherwise. Many who bought dogs from Laughlin say they've spent thousands on vet bills. She had severe pneumonia, two different cases. Caitlin Richard says the puppy she bought from Laughlin got sick within days of taking her home. Callie, a three-month-old King Charles Cavalier, had to be hospitalized and nearly died. Laughlin offered to take Callie back and refund Caitlin's money. She refused and is suing. I feel bad for all the other puppies that are there sick. It's just not fair that they're in those living conditions. Laughlin is no stranger to controversy. It has been the subject of protests by animal rights activists and a 2016 I-Team report after a former employee showed us video that included a mastiff with a severely deformed leg. It just wasn't right. They kept him in a cage half his size. He couldn't even stand up. We wanted to ask the state why it's taken years to find the kennel, but they refused our request for an on-camera interview and in a statement said, it has routinely inspected Laughlin, investigated all complaints, and taken disciplinary action when violations were found. State inspectors could be doing more. These puppies are kept in those wire cages for six months. We've had problems with people, um, their, their puppies can't walk right because they're on the wire cages all this time. It's sad. It's just an inhumane business. And this year, the Humane Society named Laughlin one of its horrible hundred puppy dealers. And government records show the kennel bought dogs from puppy mills. Do you think the conditions downstairs are humane? Yes, they're clearly humane. Uh, the, the dogs are going to go to pet homes. The people will benefit because they'll have a pet. And um, it's, a, it's a good business. Laughlin is appealing the state fines and has a hearing in January. The kennel is also fighting the town of Oxford after receiving a cease and desist order for running a commercial business in a residential neighborhood. That, too, is on appeal. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.